Well, good afternoon, a very warm welcome to Parry Tour, the 113th edition of this uh, magnificent race. There's the winner of last year, Soren Craig Anderson. Now, the race was started 10 minutes earlier than was anticipated. As we got the riders out on the course. The reason for that, a very strong headwind along the way. And that has proven to be the case. We are seeing Arkea Samsic really kick on at the front of this race. They're doing an awful lot of work here. This is we see Mark Cavendish swinging around towards the back of the peloton. Looks like Cavendish has had enough. He's let the peloton go. As he sits up to go back to the team car. Is he going to go back to the team car and uh, do some teamwork? Or is he having a conversation about whether this is ever going to come back? He's looking for a little bit of information, certainly. Mark Cavendish back in the peloton. He's still there. So he was obviously going back to the team car to have a conversation. And now a little bit of a move here at the front. This is an early moment to go, and it is Soren Craig Anderson who's decided to attack. Maybe he feels like the front group of riders isn't working hard enough. There are riders in this uh, group who are in all sorts of difficulty. That's uh, Aspion Craig Anderson in difficulty. Robit is also in trouble. And Soren Craig Anderson now going clear with 70 kilometers to go. And he's talking into his radio as Mark Cavendish swings to the right hand side. And now he is definitely letting this go. But he's obviously decided that's it. Soren Craig Anderson and Van Poppel now going clear at the front of the race. Onto this little climb then, 650 metres. It's quite a tough little climb, 7.2% its average gradient. And then once we go over the top, we're onto our first gravel road as Soren Craig Anderson now kicks on and leaves boy Van Poppel behind. He's suddenly cracked. Wow, that's a big attack here by Soren Craig Anderson. He's obviously feeling superb today. You know, Soren Craig Anderson takes the cyclocross route round that right-hander and in towards where the Swanyers are based. There he is. Whoa, a crash there on the corner from one of the front riders. Rider there at the side of the road. 51 seconds. Looked a little like uh, Maldonado of the Alba team. And now an acceleration. A rider deciding that they've got to go clear. Big move at the front from Lotto Sudal. It's like Yella Valais here. Craig Anderson is not too far ahead. Valais can see the grit and gravel being thrown up in front. That Lotto Sudal kit's not going to be white for very long. It's all a problem here, and that's what we were saying. If you have a puncture, then you can lose a huge amount of time very quickly. And that's why our leader is up here. So Soren Craig Anderson punctures with 44 kilometers to go. And he'll be hoping to get a quick change. Maybe an intelligent way to ride this race. He's back up and running. He can see Valais just in front of him, but the peloton haven't caught him. Craig Anderson. Not able to get back across to Yella Valais. Valais then our solo leader. Soren Craig Anderson about to be caught by the peloton. There he is. Is he in difficulty? Or is he going back to the cars? 
maybe it was one big effort too much. I think he thinks he's got a puncture. Here is Soren Craig Anderson. Let's see whether he has got a problem. He's looking down at his bike. He was at the front of the race, punctured, seemed to be coming back, then didn't, and is now at the back of the group. Group Palmer still with four riders. Kung is still there. Soro is still there. I don't know if Demar is still in this group. Looks like Aji Dezela Mondial are starting to get a little bit more concerned. 124 is too much. Now they start to up the tempo. Riders are starting to go out of the back. Welshide has dropped. More riders dropped. Looking like uh, they are peddling squares. That's Normella, Valny Bruxel. Also being dropped is Konishev. And just in front of him is uh, Sinkle Dam. A little group of riders going clear now at the front of the race. Oliver Narsen is one of them. Narsen will be happy with this. Seven riders going clear. Four of them. Three of them are Group Armour riders. Vala is so relaxed here at the front. Eleven riders now on the chase. Only 20 and a half kilometers now remain. 116, Yellow Valais has got no riders anywhere near him at the moment. Brew Palmer suddenly have gone from all riders up there to all sorts of issues. There's Nicky Terpstra. Terpstra got problems. He's looking for another little bit of food. He's asking for the team car. And it's a problem here for Terpstra. Another wheel change. He's trying to get it in as quick as possible. He takes the skewer out. Slots it in. He's doing it himself. Can these riders get anywhere close to me? It doesn't look like it's possible. Despite the chase that's going on, it's not happening. Falais turns right then, 11.2 kilometers to go. On to the final climb. Over Roche Corbon, he still looks full of fight, doesn't he? Got the aero socks on today. 800 metres, average gradient of 4%. He just needs to kick his way up this. Keep enough in the legs. There's the aero socks that will help him on the flat run into the finish. Adam Blythe, his teammate, swears by them. Back goes again to the front. Covered in grime and grit in his final race after 18 years as a pro. And Lars back now is trying to go clear to put him on the podium. What a fitting end that would be to a wonderful career. Lars back's legs are just giving out a little bit. An acceleration from behind. Looks like Galapan again. Another attack, and it may well be Demar. They're coming up to Lars back. Oh, just a little few hundred metres too much. Arnold Demar on the wheel is Oliver Narsen. Lars back just trying to stay in on the wheels. Mize is up there. So is the backer. We're in number 73 for a vital concept. Terpstra on the front of the chasing group now. Winner of the Paris Roubaix trying to get some sort of chase going. Arnold Demar. He's ridden hard. He's a previous winner of this race. It's going to be a long race today, though. 
as Terpstra and Narzen finally go clear from the chase. Two and a half kilometers to go now. 50 seconds still the advantage. This is going to be a wonderful breakaway by Yellow Eyes. He took his opportunity. Soren Craig Anderson was on the attack. He punctured. Velaz went past him standing at the side of the road. And since then, he's been totally on his own. The terrain today has been tough, particularly in the last 50 kilometers. But the wind has been horrendous. You can see on the faces of these riders how hard it's been. 1,000 meters of racing for Yellow Velaz. Winner of Parry Tours in 2014. He won the under-23 Parry Tours in 2010. It is for him a, one of his favourite races. Stage winner in the Welter as well last season. Now he can see the crowd. Now he gets a little bit more shelter. And he turns onto the Avenue de Grammont, this famous uh, road in Tours. The crowd are getting ready to welcome a rider who's been solo for the last 40-odd kilometers. He looks around. What a performance by Yellow Velaz. He's going to time trial his way to victory. Now he celebrates, punches the air. That has been a wonderful, wonderful day out. Thumbs up from the team car. Yellow Velaz is going to give Lotto Sudal a huge victory. He brings home another win in the Parry Tours. He's going to celebrate now. Yellow Velaz, solo breakaway, full commitment, full effort. He looks around, there's no one close. He's being chased down by Narzen. He's being chased down by Nicky Terpstra, but he's outwitted them all. Now he smiles. Now he realizes that the victory in Parry Tours is his. He asked the crowd to give him a little bit more congratulations. Well done, Yellow Velaz. Solo win for Sudal Lotto. A great breakaway, an emotional day for Yellow Velaz. Twice the winner of Parry Tour. He gets off the bike, he celebrates. Behind him now, the sprint is coming in. Nicky Terpstra is leading Oliver Nars and behind them, not too far away, is Arnold Demar. Terpstra looks around. Is he going to get second? I think Narzen is absolutely wrecked. Second place for Nicky Terpstra. Third place for an absolutely wrecked Oliver Narzen. Fourth place is going to go to Arnold Demar, a previous winner of the race as well. What a tough day. You try and try and try again, and eventually it pays off. Yellow Velaz gives Sudal Lotto a fitting end to the season after so much emotion. He picks up his bike, he celebrates, he's ecstatic. Well, he sneaked off the front and he time trialed his way to the finish. And now for the winner, Yellow Velaz. Twice the winner now of this race. Yellow Velaz wins Paris Tour for the second time.